This is Pluto of Pluto's Muse here. This is going to be your weekend collective reading for all fire signs, fire placements, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, Jupiter, anything major for you. Uh, this is going to be the collective weekend reading for the weekend of July the 12th through the 14th. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a general reading, so everything may not resonate and that's completely fine. Um, if you enjoy this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, turn on your notification bells, check the description box down below to book a personal reading, book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance. Um, what else? I want this reading to be quick. <laughs> I always want the readings to be quick. Um, I want this reading to be quick, but I don't know if it is going to be, and that's completely fine if it isn't. Um, but we're going to try to breeze through it, see what we can get out see how we can go to the next reading um and you know bang these out so we can <laughs> so we can go on to more uh more content um it's not that I'm bored with these or anything like that but I don't want to be too long-winded because the longer the video the longer it takes to upload edit things like that um what else what else oh last weekend when I filmed the readings I went completely from scratch um, just because I felt compelled to like do everything on camera and I think I'm going to do it this time, even though it makes the video a little bit longer, that's completely fine. Um, even to the point where I'm going to, you know, shuffle on my Pluto's Muse Spotify. For those of you that don't know, I do have a, uh, Spotify account where I, um, curate all the music monthly from my Instagram page. Um, and all the playlists are represented by Crystal. So you may like that if you enjoy my music choices, um, you may enjoy my Spotify. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to shuffle the song on camera and we're going to see what comes up for you guys. Um, I also want to get my book divination. Okay. It's crazy because I want the reading to be short, but I'm like adding extra stuff. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if this is, uh, relevant at all, but let's see. We're going to get a word for you guys. It's 9.51 while I'm filming this, so we'll do the fifth word in the first row. All right, so let's see. For my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Specifically for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Spirit, Angel, Ancestor, Guides. Okay? We have Proton and Punish. Mm. All right, we got the first row over here. And the fifth word. So one, two, three, four, five. It says proud. A feeling of satisfaction over something one owns, is, or does. All right. So this weekend, some of you guys are feeling proud. Proud also is giving me pride. All right. So somebody could also be having some sort of pride over the weekend. Um, but I am getting somebody could be proud of themselves. Maybe you're meeting certain goals. Maybe you have accomplished something. Maybe you're, you know, setting boundaries or uh, you're working out or something like that. There's something that you will be proud of over the weekend. So that's really positive. Now let's see. Messages for my fire signs this weekend. Relevant messages for fire signs. Okay. We have laughter and play. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's the first message. Um, we have page 92 and 93. Somebody in here could be born 92, 93. It says May 1st, May 2nd, May 3rd. So somebody could also be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus may be relevant for the weekend. You could have Taurus placements, something like that. Is that Taurus? May, June? April, May. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot. Sorry, Taurus. Um, somebody in here could be watching that's not a fire sign, but or you are dealing with the Taurus. I don't know. So it says May 1st, laughter and play. Never let go of the child within. Be playful. Laugh often. Do things that don't make much sense to anyone else. Pick up rocks and seashells for no other reason than curiosity. Pull on your rubber boots and dance in the rain. Love easily. Hold hands with others. I'm loving all this holding hand stuff. You see this keep coming up in the readings? Like, I don't know what that's about, but um, I like holding <laughs> I like holding hands. I think that's sweet. Um, um, Gemini rules the hands, too. So this could be relevant to a Gemini. Um, yeah, like mercurial placement. So Virgo and Gemini. But it's really Gemini that rules the hands. Anyway, 
hold hands with others and don't ever take yourself so seriously that you forget how to be lighthearted in the big in this big old crazy world all right so some of you guys again maybe you'll be proud of yourself this weekend because you're keeping it lighthearted. you're laughing you're being fun you're um if you're not you should be you should be enjoying your life however which way you want to enjoy it um you also have may 2nd joy it says joy is a divine response to a life well lived a light a lightening up from the inside out excuse me oh did you guys go see inside out too because i did and my nephew loved it <laughs> we loved it we we all loved it we all loved the movie but my nephew really loved it um and I think adults should watch it too it's one of those movies where like everybody can watch it but anyway I digress it says it exists in spite of the burdens you carry and the troubles that arise in your life your greatest responsibility may be giving yourself the permission to feel joy alongside grief Okay, so some of you guys could be sad this weekend, but you're choosing to be happy, all right? You may connect with the collective reading that I did the other day because we talked about that in that reading. The depth of your joy can rise above sorrow, but first you must decide that it can, all right? So happiness is a choice. 9.55 on the time may be relevant. Um, May 3rd, continue. It says you owe it to yourself to be the highest expression of who you are and to offer that self to every experience life brings you. You have a responsibility to live well. And when you get off track to gently direct yourself back again and again, (laughs) I'm sorry for all the pauses. It says continue on your, (laughs) continue on your path with trust in yourself that you will know the answers, that the answers will be revealed, that you will be okay, that you will thrive. Today, your only job is to continue. All right, so keep going. Fire signs. Now, still 9.55 on the time. Let's get into Spotify. Okay. Last week when I filmed this, I had like my face close to the camera and I was not trying to be reflected (laughs) I was not trying to let y'all see how I look sometimes I mean I'm first off I definitely look cute behind the camera but sometimes you don't need to see me in this bonnet you don't need to see me in this hoodie if I don't have my hair out you don't need to see me okay um but let's see messages from my fire signs fire signs channel song for fire signs right now I'm actually on this came up in the air sign reading last week um, I channeled Better Than I Imagined by her. Not by her, I'm sorry. It's by Robert Glasper featuring her and Michelle. Oh, I don't know how to say her name and I'm sorry. Nadega, Nadegio Cello. Okay. It seems like it's an African name. Somebody in here could be African. Um, but yeah, great song. Um, Robert Glasper is great as well. But let's see. That may be relevant. And you know what? It's on May. It's on the May playlist. That's crazy. So yeah, May may be significant. Somebody's name could literally be May. Messages for fire signs. Look, I landed on May 2024. I was on May 2021 at first. Now I'm on May 2024. So also I described the crystal. So let me tell you what this crystal is for May 2024. May 2024's playlist was represented by blue kyanite. So I'm going to put that image on the screen. And blue kyanite says, blue kyanite opens the throat chakra, encouraging communication and self-expression. It cuts through fears and deep blockages, helping to speak one's truth. Enhancing meditation, it brings stillness and relaxation to the body. All right. So some of you guys, you may need blue kyanite, blue kyanite. Any blue crystal is always going to assist in your throat chakra communication. Um, you know, if you are in a field of communication, you may want to get a crystal. If you struggle with talking to people, you may want to get that crystal. Um, it's also just a really pretty crystal. So <laughs> if you collect crystals, you might like blue kyanite. But um, somebody's favorite color could be blue. All right, so let me turn on the volume so it doesn't play. And let's see what your song is. It's on shuffle. Ooh, you got Bad Vibes by Ira Star and Say Ye Vibes, all right? I always mess up her name, and I don't mean to. Um, What a great song. And I just said you could have been an African. Shout out to the Africans. But yeah, great song. 
<laughs> a great song. And I actually don't know her sign. I think she's um, Leo. Yes, Aira Star is a Nigerian singer-songwriter, and she is born June 14th. So June 14th, not 14th, June 14th is uh, Gemini. What I say? Gemini? Gemini's in here as well. I don't know what Say Vibes sign is. Actually, let me Say that. Vibes is born July 12th. Okay. So he's, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm filming this on July 12th. Is that not crazy? Say Vibes is a cancer. So happy birthday, <laughs> Say. Happy birthday, Say, if he watches this. But yeah, that's crazy. Okay. So cancer, Gemini, Taurus may be relevant. Now, let's get into the cards. I don't know if I'm going to lay these all out or, like, talk about it one by one. Fire signs. Okay. Ooh, you have do it for you. 41 may be significant. Some of you guys could be 41. Some of you guys are born on uh, the 5th. Some of you guys are, again, Taurus or Geminis or you're dealing with one, um, but they're saying do it for you. So some of you guys, first off, some of you guys this weekend are going to wear a sundress. So cute. Yes, some of you guys are definitely wearing sundresses. You're getting dressed up. All right. Seven is Cancer and Leo energy. You could have these signs in your chart as well um, or you're dealing with them. But sword, make the change. Some of you guys are going to make a change this weekend that is done just for you. You're changing your hair. You're going out for the weekend. You're starting a project. You're, I don't know. You're speaking your mind for you. Okay? Messages from my fire signs in this reading. Somebody could have vitiligo. They don't have to. Or maybe somebody's tanning this weekend. Somebody's going to get a tan. Messages for the collective in this reading. Somebody's wearing a sundress. <laughs> if it ain't you, you have don't let pride get in your way. What'd I say? Proud. Proud. Somebody could be proud this weekend. So Leo. You could be a Leo. Leo Moon. Um, somebody could be letting pride get in the way this weekend, hold your vision, fixed moon, could be dealing with a fixed moon. So Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or Aquarius moon, or you have those moon placements. They're saying don't let pride get in your way because you have a vision and you need to lean on that vision. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely going to resonate with that collective reading because I was picking up on the fact that somebody was like almost about to give up. Oh no. Almost about to give up on something. And I don't know what that would be for you, but some of you guys don't need to give up. Okay, if there's like a dream that you're trying to accomplish or something that you're working on, you don't have to give up. Messages for the collective in this reading. I hope this message is accurate. Look, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right. 12 uh, in reverse. That is Capricorn and Sagittarius. Um, some of you guys are definitely Sagittarius or Capricorns that you have this in your chart. Conclusions in reverse. Something is not over. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have high priestess of air. Yes. Yeah, six. That is Gemini and Cancer. Something's not over. So there's something that you have been investing in or there's a connection that you have. You could be in separation from whatever it is. It may not be over um, or you don't want it to be over. Somebody doesn't want it to be over. This person, you, I'm getting some of you. I don't know. Maybe maybe people have told you not to contact somebody or to communicate or, um, I don't know, to be with someone. I'm getting, you know, do what you want to do. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. Yeah, because this is a spiritual experience. Some of you are Christians or you are um, dealing with a Christian. Somebody's name could be Christian. I'm getting like the things that you've gone through prior to this moment were lessons. Have you learned? Have you learned? Bottom of the deck, star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Where's your soul telling you to go? I also did a pick a card this week that had this energy in it. Where's your soul telling you to go? Who do you want to talk to? What do you want to do? 
<laughs> I'm also getting some form of um, like a spiritual connection. You and somebody else could have a real spiritual connection. All right. Do you want to talk to this person? Do you not want to talk to this person? What's going on? Don't let your pride get in the way now. Messages for the collective in this reading. Fire signs. Or this could be vice versa, fire signs. Take it how it resonates. Messages for my fire signs. Ooh. Should I take it upright or reverse? I'm hearing reverse. Mm, clear. May you see things as they are. Some of you guys aren't looking at this situation from a clear point of view. Your vision is skewed. You don't see it how it's supposed to look. Bottom of the deck. Ease. May it be effortless. Somebody is making things harder than they have to be. All right? Like, if you want to talk to somebody, just talk to them. Are you blocked? <laughs> it's not funny. Are you blocked? Also, I'm drinking chamomile tea. I don't know if you guys like chamomile tea. But it's one of my faves. Super relaxing. Oh, Hold on. Let's get a butterfly oracle as well. Some of you could be going to church this weekend. Or you may read the Bible. Or you may be journaling. You may pray. For some of you, you may be in a country where it's snowing. You don't have to be. Look, damn. In reverse, religion and spirituality. Some of you guys are not connecting to your higher self, to God. And this is why you don't see what's going on. Okay? Somebody isn't listening to their spirit I feel like that's why things aren't clear some of you may have too much pride to go to God okay like maybe you feel like this isn't something that you need to pray over I don't know messages for the collective in this reading or like church or something Cosmic flower, the number 18. Somebody could be born on the 18th. Somebody could also be a Virgo or a Libra. It says the frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. For some of you, this is about past life energy. This could be somebody from your past or this could be related to something in your family. All right, I am getting past life energy. This doesn't have to be love. This could definitely be about your family. Or this could be about somebody you view as family. Somebody you want to have a family with. What is the overall energy of this reading for my fire signs? Overall energy. Overall energy for fire signs. Five of cups, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You or someone else. Six of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sagittarius, you could have these placements in your chart. You're dealing with these signs. Why is this energy relevant? For some of you, you are grieving a past over a loved one. For others of you, you're just grieving someone from the past, something from the past. Some of you, this is about a baby father or a baby mother or your literal father. Aries, Five of Wands, King of Cups, yeah. Bottom of the deck, the judgment card. Mm. Somebody's waiting on an opportunity to, like, say something or to make a move. There's some sort of conflict here between you and someone else. For others of you, I'm getting, like, a vibe where it's, like, <sighs> somebody is sad and grieving something from the past because they've been, again, waiting for... Uh, a reconciliation or for something to clear up or um, like either somebody is literally grieving someone that has passed away or somebody that has separated themselves. They've created some sort of distance. This could be within a family dynamic. For some of you, you are grieving a father figure. Uh, um, um, could it be a mother figure? If not, baby father, baby mother, brother, friend. I feel like somebody wants to make a, uh, what do you call it? A revival. Like somebody wants to come back around. You or somebody else wants to come back around. I feel like it's you. Okay. Scorpio is here as well. 
yeah, oof. The lovers. Some of y'all, uh, this is a relationship. Gemini, you have to make a decision, but you're stressed out. Between two people or more than one person, I don't know. What's the energy of my fire signs this weekend, spirit? Yeah, some of you guys are stressed out. Some of you could even be like uh, in conflict with this person. Like there's some sort of like friction, like competing even. But that doesn't have to be the case. I'm getting more so like it's conflict. I'm also getting too how these cards are set up. People could have gotten in the way of a connection between you and somebody else, regardless of what sign you are. I feel like some of you guys are showing up as the emperor. So you could be a feminine or a masculine. You're just showing up in a divine masculine type of energy. Some of you guys, there's either conflict that has gotten in the way of you and this person. Or again, like people. Somebody could feel emotionally conflicted at this time. Somebody could also have more than one person that wants to talk to them or wants to be around them. Whether this is family, friend, whoever it is, lover. What's my fire signs energy over the weekend? Fire signs energy over the weekend. The Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius, heavy on the Sag. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Somebody is waiting. The wheel has turned and somebody is waiting. Yeah. Some of you are waiting to be single. Some of you are waiting to connect with this uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are waiting to work for yourself. All right. Oh, look. Some of y'all might be waiting to be single to offer somebody love. Yeah. Or to work on something. Maybe there's a project you want to work on. Some of you are waiting to uh, see some sort of progress. This could also be you waiting for someone else to be single. You're waiting for someone else to be available. All right. Some of you are business owners or you're dealing with one. What's the external energy? But I'm definitely getting like somebody's trying to offer love. You could be trying to offer somebody love or somebody else is trying to offer you love. You could be focused on yourself right now. Oh, look. Can you hear that? It's raining. Somebody could be crying. Or there's like a purging of energy. Somebody is purging old energy. You may want to take a spiritual bath, spiritual shower over the weekend. Can you see all the cards? Hold on. Okay, that's better. What is the external energy of my fire signs? Ooh, ten of pentacles. Wow. Family. Some of you guys are in a family with this person, or this is family. This could also be a work dynamic. Like, some of you guys are trying to leave this work dynamic behind and work for yourself, like I said. Yeah. Somebody in your energy, if they are committed, somebody's really looking over their commitment or something like that. If this is a family dynamic, there's something going on here about your family, like, looking over the time that they've invested in this thing. This could be, like, a family business as well. I don't even know if I should take that. Or this could be a relationship. I don't know if I should take that. I'm not going to take it. This came out, though. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My God. We got the lovers and the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy. Gemini, heavy. Somebody's thinking about a relationship that they either have with you or that they're currently in. They're looking at the time that they've invested. I feel like this is somebody that you've either long, known for a very long time or this person saw long term with you. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on in this energy, this external energy? External energy. Mm. Eight of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's stressed out by work or somebody's stressed out about working on a situation with you. Okay, maybe somebody views you as being a bit inconsistent 
or this is their energy. Like maybe somebody's been back and forth. I'm also getting somebody could be like pursuing a hobby or something that they're really passionate about. Okay, whether it's travel, music, style, like I don't know. Somebody's like focused on their work, whatever it is that they love to do or why are the eight of swords on the external energy? Somebody feels trapped at work, like they can't make any moves. Some of you could be waiting for somebody to get off of work. Why the eight of swords? Or you're waiting for somebody to work on this, work on a connection with you? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this person's afraid. Either this person is afraid to open up like they're protecting their peace. Seven of wands. Or this is somebody that is afraid of... Like, I don't know, being blocked. Maybe they feel like you blocked them, so they don't want to reach out. Yeah, <laughs> could be a Libra. Or this person did this to you. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. I feel like somebody wants to make things right. Somebody wants to apologize or make things right, but it's like, they're also stuck in their head, either because of work or because of life. Okay, maybe this investment ended badly in the past or something weird happened with the conflict and stuff like that. Um, or somebody could literally be in another situation and they're like, I don't really know how to get out of this. Or um, for some of you, it's not that. It's about somebody being with their family or with uh, their job. They're focused on their job this weekend. Uh, why is this relevant for my fire signs? Why is this relevant for my fire signs? Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Hermit. Virgo energy. Leo. This is relevant because somebody has been really thinking long and hard about making a move on somebody. All right. So either this person has been thinking about reaching out to you or you have been thinking about reaching out to this person. This could also be a creative project. Somebody's really thinking long and hard about a project that they want to start either with you or um, you. They you're like, I really want to do this thing with this person. I really want to start this project. Somebody could also be thinking about children. I don't know if you have a child with this person or this person is thinking like, I want to have kids with you. But somebody could be stressed out about a child. All right, five of pentacles, maybe money related to a child. Um, this could even be like a, like this kid could already be born. I'm also getting, somebody's afraid, they don't want to get abandoned. If this is somebody that you want to have a child with, or if this is somebody you're having a child with, somebody does not want to, uh... I don't know. Somebody doesn't want to get left or leave. Like, there's something here going on. I'm almost getting like somebody is rejecting someone before they're rejected or something like this. Even if this is somebody that wants to say something to you or reach out to you, this person's like, I'm not going to do this. For others of you, I am getting like this person could really be trying to get some sort of work done. Like maybe they have been having issues with their money um, and it doesn't have to be child related, but like something going to happen. Something is going on that's causing them to have to focus like hyper focus on this thing. I don't know if you betrayed this person in the past or if they betrayed you, but there's like an energy here of somebody feeling betrayed. So they're choosing to focus on other things. Or even if you guys had some sort of betrayal, like maybe someone, uh, somebody could be overthinking things as well. Especially with that eight of swords. Like somebody's overthinking it. Like you could be waiting to come towards this person. I don't know because I feel like this person could be wanting to come towards you too. Like I don't get what's going on. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge here? Leo may be relevant. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could also be relevant. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo again. What's the challenge here? The page of swords. 
the knight of wands somebody is seeing somebody live their life and this may be a challenge like maybe somebody's seeing you enjoy yourself or do your own thing or be in another connection or um be around other people yeah and this is causing some sort of blockage in communication it's making this person not feel like they can reach out if anything it's making this person feel like they gotta move away somebody's seeing you and they feel like you're good so they're not reaching out they're not making any moves they're not saying anything if this person wanted to offer you something like a commitment or to work with you or something like that, they're like, I can't say anything. Now, again, it could be because of how the situation ended. Depends on what the situation was. If you were the one that stopped talking to this person, this person may feel like there's no reason to reach out. And it's funny. This is reminding me of a personal reading I just did with a client um, today. I was trying to tell her. She might watch this. <laughs> hey, girl, <laughs> if you're watching, I'm not going to say anything. But um, I was trying to tell her, like, she was talking about how there was a person that she was dating. Now, this scenario might not be the same. But I'm going to tell you, like, the one thing that is relevant to this. Um, There was a guy that she was talking to she had been talking to for a long time like the connection had been on and off on and off like really was trying to t talk to this guy um and she was trying to figure out why the connection wasn't like grounding how she wanted it to or moving forward or whatever it was um now there was an age difference between her and the guy so you know there could be different levels of maturity anything like that but um when I was like talking to her and clarifying everything, I was picking up on the fact that um, the guy that she was talking to uh, was kind of torn because of whatever dynamic they had already set up in the past. I think that he was used to what the pattern was um, and he wasn't really evolving much like he was trying to. He, he really was trying to work on evolving, but um he wasn't as evolved as she was. She had evolved a lot. She had like did a lot of work on herself and, um, you know, she still had things to improve too. We all do. But the thing that she was doing wrong was the fact that she was like acting cool. She was acting cool and like still being around him, still being around him, you know, <laughs> whatever she's doing with him, laying up with him, anything like that. But when she's around him, she would act like she would try to trigger him to make him feel like she was talking to other people. Or, like, just to make him feel like uh, she wasn't going to, you know, like, he wasn't the only person she was worried about or she was willing to leave and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong. Listen, if you if if somebody doesn't know that and you have that discussion, have that discussion. But the problem was, was that she really wanted to be with him. So she would every now and then, like, throw something out there or do something that would kind of, like, trigger him. Uh, to make him chase she really wanted him to chase and show more effort but I was telling her I said he he's assuming that you're moving on like he's not taking it as you uh wanting to be with him he's actually assuming like you're done like you're moving away whatever it is and that's pride her pride was like I can't keep telling this man that I like him that I want to be with him I show him that I care he knows that I care but uh, he's not giving me the same energy I want in return. So I'm like doing these tactics, these like, you know, like really underlying manipulative things. And, you know, everybody can manipulate. It's a, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say her sign, but, um, she was, <laughs> I don't want to say her sign. I don't want to say her sign. You can guess where her sign was. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm cracking up anyway. Um, yeah, she was basically trying to like, you know, get his sympathy or make him feel like, you know, you should give more to me or anything like that. And the problem was, um, he was, he already liked her. He already loved her. He thought she was the best option, but he was feeling like, you know, you finally moved on. You're done with me. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I want to be around you, but I don't feel like you're choosing me, things like that. And I was letting her know, like, even when I was looking at the cards, I was kind of trying to let her know, like, you know, if you want to work with him or be with him, you can, you can be with him, but you're not going to get the version of him that you're trying to coerce out of him. And 
I was trying to let her know that, um, you know, that doesn't mean that you don't have to be with him, but she was manifesting. She was manifesting a lot for herself to the point where she had transformed so drastically and she was so close to receiving her good karma that at this point, the man was a block. Like the man was a block because she was manifesting her karma, um, and like good karma again, like not bad karma. She, she didn't do anything malicious to the man. Um, he actually did way more malicious stuff to her. And she, she realized that she deserved better or deserved more. Um, and I feel like he realized that too at that point, but there was like this energy where, um, again, she was like, do I keep investing in this? Cause I kind of want to have a kid. I kind of want to be with him. Um, but I also want to, you know, be married. I want to have this. I want to build this. I'm building this for myself. And she's very ambitious. She's very beautiful, very beautiful, very kind, very smart, all these great things. And I'm sure he was too. Um, but it was just so clear that they weren't in alignment. Now, this isn't to say that this is what's going on. The reason why I'm saying this narrative is because if this is you, fire signs, some of you have somebody that want to be long term with you. Somebody has thought about this. Somebody has considered this in the past. The reason why they're resisting you is because they don't want to deal with something karmic. I have a feeling that some of you are dealing with someone that there is some level of, again, like, there's a there's some toxicity in the past y'all had some toxicity in the past there's something here about there being toxicity and I feel like maybe now you want to come back around maybe now you want to engage in this relationship with this person you want to make a move or you want to start this project you want to build on this friendship whatever it is but if you're not communicating this and if you're not making an effort to offer something to someone and maybe you're just trying to get their attention through posting or subbing or whatever it is I don't feel like it's working I actually feel like it's counterproductive and this could be family or loved ones this doesn't have to be a love connection some of you guys are doing some sort of weird tactic with a family member or someone in your you know friend circle and it's throwing this person off because it's like do you not want to work with me or do you want to work with me like do you want to be with me or do you not want to be with me and this is if this is a love situation and you're doing something weird like I don't know whether you're you know going on a date or out partying or anything like that unless you're actually trying to meet somebody while you're out there if you're doing this to get someone else's attention I feel like it's counterproductive because this might not be somebody that is insecure. Okay. Um, I'm not really getting that vibe. This isn't the type of person that, uh, even if this is like your current partner, this isn't the type of person that, uh, engages in those type of tactics. So if you're like trying to rouse somebody up or get a reaction or something like that, I feel like it's hindering growth in a situation that could just be fixed with a conversation. OK, and that's what bad vibes is giving. I didn't even explain bad vibes, <laughs> bad vibes. She's saying, like, protect my energy. Like, you know, she she she's protecting her energy. She's stacking her money up. She's focused on these things. I love that song. She's stacking her money up. She's focused on her growth. She's trying to block out the enemies because she feels like somebody is literally just trying to stir the pot. This could be you or they. Somebody either feels like you're stirring the pot with no intention of building on this, or this is how somebody feels about, uh, did I say that's how somebody, somebody really might feel this way about you or you feel this way. And I'm not getting that it's anything wrong with you doing what you want to do for yourself. But for some of you, it's like, I don't know. Now I will say some of you. You may want to make a move on somebody. This could also be a challenge. Some of you do want to make a move on somebody. Maybe you are watching somebody online this weekend or you're wanting to communicate with someone. There could be somebody that's going to rush in and tell you not to. Okay. There could be an air sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign that's going to tell you to move away from this person. Don't ask people, what's up with people asking for advice? Don't ask people for advice. Either this is the person that you want to talk to and they're not making a move or you're not making a move, but somebody's like trying to show off like, dee -dee -dee -dee, like I'm happy, whatever it is, or vice versa. Or 
there's an energy here of you guys wanting to make a move and then somebody like coming in and saying like, no, don't do that. And if you are trying to get somebody's attention by being messy, let's say you do get their attention, might be bad attention. Some of y'all don't care. Some of y'all are like, I just want attention any which way I can get it. And that might not be the vibe. So what's the advice for my fire signs? Look, ten of swords reverse. Get out of your head. Some of y'all are overthinking. Get out of your head. Stop feeling betrayed. Yes. And start the project. Say the thing. Make the move. Some of you are overthinking an action you want to take. Make the move. Start the project. Make the move. Say the thing. Yeah. What do you want to invite somebody somewhere? Go out. Invite this person out. Meet up with this person. Or tell this person you want to meet up. Say you want to set a date. Some of y'all want to ask somebody out on a date. Nine of Swords. Hmm. The Strength. The Six of Swords. There's something here about the house or home. Maybe there's somebody at your house. Or some of you are stressed out. I don't know. Some of you need to work on your confidence or your pride. Some of y'all got too much pride. Your pride's like Pluto, but I've reached out already. Or I don't want to reach out. Or I don't, you know, I'm in my party phase right now. I don't care if I like this person. <laughs> Which is fine. You know, I'm not forcing anything. Yeah, but like, what are you doing? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Taurus, Libra. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all, I don't know if this is somebody that you want to be with or what, either this is this person's energy or this is your energy, but I feel like somebody is like, I don't know, some of y'all want to be committed to this person, like real live commitment, or you are committed to this person, this is your partner, what are you doing, what's another piece of advice? Look, <laughs> if you don't speak, what are you doing? Somebody say something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody's anticipating talking to you. Like this would be good news if you talk to them. For some of you, this could be a parent. This could be your mom. This could be your dad. Or again, the parent of your child or something like that. I feel like if this is a parent or a coworker or whoever this is, this person may be a bit conflicted. Like they didn't know whether they should reach out to you. They're afraid of being rejected too. Whoever this person is, regardless of their sign, this person is afraid of being rejected too. I don't know. Now, for some of you, I'm getting a weird vibe too, like... If you aren't the one partying, somebody else could be like you might like the person that I'm talking about could be the one that's partying or something like that. And this is stressing you out. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's happening with that. But for some of you, it's stressing you out how this person is partying. Maybe you should say that. You should say, like, I don't like how you just go out and party and all of this stuff and like without me or I don't know. I really don't know what you should do. It's not over, though. What's not clear? Damn, this is getting long. <laughs> What's not clear? What's not clear, spirit? What's not clear for my fire signs? What's not clear? I feel like you don't see what's wrong or you don't see what the conflict is. First off, it's people who have gotten in the way of the connection or it's just the fear. You know what I feel like you don't see clear? The fact that I don't know, like you're making it harder than it has to be. Somebody is like manifesting hardship. Some of y'all want to make somebody like do something that they might not want to do. Or some of you are trying to make it harder for somebody like, I don't know, this is weird energy. Yeah. Like some of you are waiting for this person to say something. And I don't like you're trying to motivate this person to feel guilty or 
you know, frustrated or like tired as well. Like you're trying to make this person feel like they want to say something. But I feel like that's not what you're supposed to do. Also, I'm getting too like some of you are really trying to get this person to like tell you that they like you or um, tell you that they want to see you or be with you. And you could just do it <laughs> like <laughs> you could just do it. I don't know. Aries, Virgo, Gemini, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For s <coughs> Right when I said it for some of you, there could also be a Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. That is making it seem harder than it is. Like there could also be somebody in the energy that's like making it seem harder than it is or who's telling you like, no, like you're not ready. Like you should enjoy this or you should just do this instead. Like. I don't know. I feel like you already know what you want to do. Just do what you, I said, follow the voice of your soul. Follow the voice of your soul. Do what you want to do. Uh oh, these are in reverse. These came up in reverse. We'll read it. It says freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Some of you don't feel like you, okay. Hmm. This energy is giving me codependency. OK, so some of you could feel like stressed out because maybe you feel like you need this person or um, I don't know. Like, do you feel overly obligated to this person? Like you can do your own thing. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I feel like some of y'all are blaming this person like. That's what I'm saying. Some of you are expecting an apology or you want somebody to say something to you. But it's like maybe you want this person to make you happy or make you feel better. But some of you possess the freedom to make yourself happy. And some of you need to hold yourself accountable for how much power you give people when it comes to your emotions. Because for some of you, this person's busy. I don't feel like they're a bad person. And honestly, I even feel like if this is somebody that you had conflict with, if, whether it's a family member, or anything like that, and now you want to get on the same page with them, it's like all you need to do is have an honest conversation. Somebody ain't even being honest. They're like trying to make the other person say it first or do something first. And it's like, just speak. You speak. Okay, I don't know. Or you apologize. Like, you want somebody to apologize to you, you apologize. What's self-care for my fire signs? And I'm not saying you apologize, like, in a way where it's like, no, you do this. I'm getting more so, like, you do it. Like, you do it because you want to do it. Don't do it because you're like, okay, well, this is how I'm going to get my way or I'm not going to do this because then I'm going to look weak or I'm not going to tell this person how I feel because I don't want to look weak. Like, just do it. Stop being prideful. It's pride. 18. Some of you guys are born on the 18th. Some of you guys are also dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. Bottom of the deck, you have create art. Some of you want to work with this person. Somebody wants to work with you. You want to work with this person. Tell them you want to work with them. 17 create art some of you are artists that's an eight so leo and virgo heavy on the virgo in this reading somebody could be a virgo sun moon rising or venus what's a love oracle i don't even know if i want to do this one this deck or the red one i'm getting the red one this uh rain is gonna make me sleepy I'm hearing summer rain, <laughs> whispers me to sleep and wakes me up again. Somebody likes Carl Thomas. Carl Thomas is a Virgo. Yes. Oh, Carl. First off, summer rain is not summer rain. <laughs> 
Summer Rain is um, a classic. Carl Thomas is a vibe. Carl Thomas makes you think about my dad. For some of you guys, this could be about a dad. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. It's a new day. Look, aw, embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. Go hold that person's hand. <laughs> Go hold that person's hand. Go show that person you love them. Some of y'all love this person. Just say it. Just love the person, bro. What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? Especially if this is like really like somebody you got a child with or something. What's the problem? If you're the one making the move, just make the move. Stop playing games and stop listening to people. Who's getting in the way? Get get them people out the way. They're getting in the way. They're getting in the way in the way of what you're feeling. Ooh, that's Jill Scott. Aries, what'd she say? You better back down before you get smacked down. You better chill. What is going on? Is there a third party? We're not getting into it. We're not getting into it. It says oneness is my true nature. Oh, no. Now I'm picking up on other stuff. We got to get out of here. I'm getting out of this reading. It says when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely could be pregnant. They don't have to be or this is somebody you want to get pregnant. Bottom of the deck, it says I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. 5151 was on the time. Yes, unapologetic about what you desire. Don't apologize for what you like, who you like, what you want. Just go after it, okay? That's all that I have for my fire signs. I hope it made sense. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading with me if you need further guidance. Some of you guys, this wasn't even about romance. It's about friendship. It's about business. It's about love family anything like that listen to your heart listen to your gut trust your soul this is all that i have all right talk to you guys later Bye bye